Hello my fellow gamers and welcome to something completely different and unusual and completely wacky. We're doing a free fall. Yep, this is with my subscribers Nodal, Axion and Mr. Bombs also known as Chaos Berserkers. Now I'm going to have to do quick with commentating on who's doing what and the army. So I've got four units of Clan Rat Spears. We've also got Gorich here, all with the upgrade. We've got two units of Rattling Guns, the Avalanche Mortars, Council Guard, Itaclaw on his Doom Wheel, as well as the Wheels of Doom. And on my flank over here, Exion, who is born Grinskins, has randomly got some Night Goblin Squig Hoppers. They're, they're not going to be a problem for my infantry at all. And over here, Nodor being the Dishonorable Batonia, has got Mounted Jamian Archers over there, and over there to flank me, because why not? Let's go over the forces of Batonia. We have one, two, three, four units of peasants. We also have Paladin. We've got Damsel of Heavens. We've got a Blessed Tripper, say. This force is led by Elbrick the... Uh, just Elbrick, there we go. And Royal Hippogriff Knights coming in to support him. And then for the Knights, we got Grail Knights, Knights Errands, Knights Errands. And so, yeah, two Grail Knights, two Knights Errands. If we go over here, for some reason... Chaos Berserker has bought Empire and he's doing Outriders of Grenade Launchers just to taunt Axion and his Greenskins. So, what have we got over here? We've got Orc Boys. Um, yep, two units of Orc Boys. Some Black Orcs. Over there, we've got Snotlin Pump Wagons. Got the Rogue Idol there. Um, goblins. One, two, three units of Goblins. And then we've got Night Goblin Archers. They're not the Rusty Arrows. No diversity arrows, just the same, but we do have a Black Orc big box, which would be fun to see. Um, and as I have the slaw shot on, here's Riven there. And you see Chaos with his grenade launchers getting those points up nice and quickly. Now if we go over to Chaos Berserker's force, he's he's just made his own little camp, hasn't he? So he's got the Black Lions, the War Wagons, Hellblaster, um, Regiment of Renown, which is very nice. To, oh, sorry. Is that four units? Yeah, four units of great swords at the front, two units of halberdiers at the back, so no one can get flank him. Warrior Priest and Marcus Wolfheart, and he's got two Hellstorm rocket batteries. Now, what could they be firing at? Well, of course, they're firing at these poor squigs over here. Um, and of course, everyone was like, oh, look, they're Shadow. Let's all team up on Shadow. Wouldn't that be fun for everyone? <laughs> so, I'm trying to get some shots off to deal with these mounted Jamin. Squid Corbett's coming in, but look, they do get a charge into my rattling guns, and they do do a lot of damage there. Um, I'm trying to just get, like, work out what's going on, and already, like, a unit's been wiped out. That's an iron, of course, now we've got flying rats. Because even in team games with me and um, Mr. Bombs, it's always a free fall, even if we're on the same team, if you forced our team game for that. Um... But yeah, we are trying to do this, but I'm getting hit by Tribosades on one side, Hellstorm Rocket Batteries, and I'm stuck in the middle with it to That, um, yeah. And we've ch chased off the Nice Quicks over there, but now the forces of Petonia are getting in, and I had no idea, because they're in the woods. I couldn't really see what was here. I had no idea of the chaos that was coming my way. Um, but now we do have, oh, look at these guys firing. Move and fire, boys. Move and fire. In comes Wazak. And, oh, he's got to do it right. Oh, but they've been netted. But he does do a nice spell there. I think, is that the Purple Sun? I believe it is. And look, he's, that is half health. Green skin's coming in. Forces and all skins. They're doing stuff. It's not important, guys. Okay, ignore the points. Just, they're doing fine. Um, but in comes the forces of Greenskin against this fortified position. But oh, it's gone, it's gone for the hell, but it is. I took them out. That was a nice little extra. And you may notice, yes, Mr. Bombs has all Kawar coming his way. But this, where's the camera going? But this Skaven to shoot. So, um, they're just going to keep firing at the Skaven. Because of course they are. Um, in comes the Greenskins, though. But we do have a lot of elite infantry. The Great Swords will do a good job here. But in comes the big rogue idol, and of course the magic from Action as well could be quite powerful. Still determined to fire at the Skaven, are you, mate? That's uh, yeah, stuff's happening, all right. It's, it's it's fine. We don't need to worry about it. 
Um, but it looks like the Goblin front line is being beamed, but that's because it's a Warrior Priest as well as a load of great shots. So it's going to cut through those um, Goblins, no problem. And now Mr. Bombs knows that I've got my hands full. He can just focus on this front. He's got some forces there just in case. But, oh, and it looks like Wazak's actually been sniped by the pump wagons there. In he goes. Try to deal with that. Wolfric getting some good shots there. Helberdeer's getting in there as well. What is that going down? No idea. So it's very important, I should know. But the rogue idol has smashed through here. And i um, not quite sure. And there goes the wag as well. So now all of the stuff's in there. It looks like it's up there. The outriders have been terrified away. That's fantastic play there by the Greenskins. And yeah, what's good is where they're breaking through, the goblin, night goblins are focusing their fire on the bit that's breaking through. So they're getting some good flank hits there. As you can see, look, these great swords are just melting. I mean, they're shooting through goblins as well, but the great swords are going down, which is good. Um, <laughs> Wolfric, though, trying to do. Oh, how did you miss the rogue idol? I have no idea. Where is. Hang on. Where's Azag gone? Azag? Did he die and I missed it? Yep, Azag's down. Wolfric took him down. Oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear. Now these guys are falling back. Good falling back position. The stuff going under the purple and yellows, you don't need to worry about that. Um, but look, another good flanking position here by actually under the green skins. Again, there's night goblins where they need to be so he can maximise the damage. And, oh, some point blank shots there by Chaos Berserker. But the problem is, I'm not sure these goblins... Oh, a nice arm um, banishment there. Or just orbital strike. It was in the, they called it an orbital strike. It's fine. The problem is, the goblins are now breaking through. But the flanks where the Blackhawks are are gone. And the Ogres... The Rat Ogre? Sorry, the Rogue Idol is smashing through there. Yeah, someone's Lord just died. It's, I'm sure it's fine. Um, yeah, the points. Don't worry about them. So the Greenskins now pushing through here against the forces of the Empire. Mr. Bomb's leading the way. By quite a margin, those hailstorms are probably doing a lot of damage. And that might have been why he focused on the armies over here. Because now he's got to wipe this army out anyway. He might as well have a few extra points by damaging there. But his front line's kind of crippled. There's only one unit of great shots. Even the warrior priest has um, terrified away by this rogue idol. But the rogue idol is falling apart. However, the more damage he takes, the more damage he deals out, I believe. But he has actually broken. And it looks like the greenskins could be... Having a bit of problem. Well, they've got the archers still. And again, beautiful. Oh, look at these great shorts. Just getting shot to bits. Going full last samurai as they charge in. The Hellstorm battery. Getting a good shot there. Hang on. Is the priest dead? Wow. Okay. So that happened. Um, but we do have Marcus still. Getting... That was a terrible shot. What were you doing? But the front line's pretty much gone. The Empire. But what Berserker's doing is getting his forces lined up, giving them time to rest, and getting their um, Black Lions to chance to shoot in and use all their ammunition. And even when they've used the ammunition up, they will be able to disrupt formations. I mean, look, yeah, the Black Orcs are struggling with leadership. And these all have armor piercing as well. So that'd be interesting to see how that ends up. Great shots charged in there, but they have been overwhelmed by goblins. Suddenly, it's not looking too good for the Empire. The Black Lines have got to do a really good job here. Um, yeah, no, it's how many kids have they got? 15, is that all? Really? They must have been focusing on high targets then. But it looks like the Greenskins are winning this, even though, point-wise, the Empire's winning. I guess because there's more Empire on the field? I don't know, you know, as in running than that, but... I mean, you've got a black hole big box coming in. The green skins have now broken through. There's no front line for the Empire. Um, you know, this is not looking good. The green skins, look at this, pushing in. But look, because they're not firing, the black orcs, they're, they're exhausted. They're taking fire. Oh, and they've been netted. Oh, uh oh. But they are being shot as well. But are they going to get any good kills in this? 28 black orcs. Can they get a good. This is a beautiful. They're aiming at the black orc boss. Well, I guess take the leadership out, but it's like you could have just decimated this unit. But you know what? With everything that's going on, probably just like, nope, just fire in, done. But now the green skins, now the net's gone, they're like, nope, we're carrying on. And in comes all the goblins as well, bravely following up behind. 
Um, is there much left? No, there's not much left. In fact, it's had there's some great shorts been left here. They are making their way back. Um, but yeah, there we go. They are chasing them down, getting a few shots that they can. But what's this? The force of the Petonia have appeared. The mounted Jamin's arch archers are coming in now. And this is not what the Empire wants to see. So now this whole Petonian army is coming in. But then again, the Black Lines do have some ammunition. So if they target properly, they could do some serious damage. Like the Ground Knights. Oh, like that. That's what I'm talking about. Look, Knights dropping down now. Exactly, but in comes the cavalry coming in to what well, are they saving the greenskins or are they here just to kill everyone? I don't know, but the greenskins quickly adapting their formation. The night night goblin archers using what ammunition they've got left, but they're, they're chasing down even the archers who have run out of ammunition and are chasing down the black lions. And I can't see the empire staying long. Uh oh, what they're doing over there? The knight errand group, yet yeah, one flank's coming in here. Night goblins are not braced for this. And then comes the Ground Knights. And they're immediately broken. And they would be right to do so. So immediately the Patona comes in, sweeping away the Night Goblin Archers, which is the main support here. And with them gone, pretty much all that's left is the Black Orc Big Boss. Oh no, there's some Goblins here. I take that back. There are some Goblins here. Getting in there, stabbing the Mounted Yemen Archers, which is actually not a bad shout. Um, getting them in the rear and that, they could do some serious damage. At the moment, Pony is actually taking over in the lead. Mr. Bombs of the Empire just behind. And Axion is only just behind that, so the points are not too far. But in can't... Well, there they go. That's the Empire forces gone, apart from these two. Well, this guy, and he's been chased by Black Orc Big Boss. However, I think the rest of the Greenskins... Well, it's just these goblins left. That's it. And even the Night Goblin Archers don't have ammunition, so they're charging the Grail Knights. Well, I guess it's better to charge them than be charged, right? But... Um, Mounted Yamin getting into the back there. Those spearmen could be a bit of a pickle. But if the Grail Knights turn around quickly, it'd be good. These guys are just doing their own thing, really. However, here comes the true heroes of Petonia. That's right, the peasants. Behold their greatest. Even the blessed Trepice is coming in now. To do their part. Wow, he's barely got any health left. If some one of these two could kill him, oh, he's used his ammunition up. If he could, like, literally, that's like one shot, two shots of Marcus. He could have killed him and got all the points for it. But instead, the Black Orc Big Boss is going to make a run for it. The Greenskins have completely broken. Well, there's a unit of Night Goblin Archers here. But now the Triple is just randomly making it look dramatic. It's like fire for effect, so they're making it look good. Looks very dramatic. The two last models of either army, apart from the archers over there. In he comes, but he's got to be careful, because if he gets here, like that. Oh, and there goes Rolf. <laughs> but they are mainly focusing on the um, Blackhawks there. It looks like, oh no, there are some great shots, so there's two units left for each army. They're com commander, a hero, and two of their basic units, but Wolfric, there, oh dear. Oh dear, that's that's a lot of Petonia coming in. Yeah, and it looks like both forces are now starting to break. Wolfric has gone. He's followed. Is there any unit here? There is. You got some great swords randomly, who have been shot in the back by the night goblin. Night goblins to the end, guys. That's how it's done. Oh, what's that coming down? What is it? Oh, good dodge there. But um, Action and the Night Goblins, he nearly ran into that. But right of these Grey Shorts are just like, hi! And then they see that Petonia's hit. Yeah, just like that, really. Um, run away. Night Goblins are kind of just sitting back. But if they could get some good shots on there, maybe. But I can't. Nah, these ships go in now. And um, watch that, they've called that. I don't know. But um, the Damsel's the only one that's going to be hit by it. Damsel, run. Right, damsel. No! <laughs> Blew herself up with her own comet. Oh, that's amazing. And there's even some night goblins here. But no, there we go, guys. That is everything. And I believe that is game. And that would be a win for Petonia.
Well, that's annoying. The replay went on for a bit, so I thought, I'll just quit and go on. But if you quit, it doesn't show you any of the stats. You know what, guys? That's fine. You know what? We don't need to worry about who won and who lost and don't have to look back at the replay and see the final score. It, it doesn't matter. You know what? We all had a good time. We had good fun. And um, we're going to wrap it up there. So, guys, thank you so much for joining me, and I hope to see you for the next one. Till then, take care.